On today's Pyramid Insider, friends, we are going to show you how to run your full auto Crossman on HPA. Let's get into it. So, you're already a PCP shooter or you want to become one and you like the fun factor of having a full auto BB gun. Uh, well, one of the great things that Air Venturi's come out with here uh, in the recent past is a bulk fill adapter for these Crossmen, the R1, the MPW, your SBRs, your you know, DPMSs. So pr pretty much all of your AR variant full auto Crossman guns, this will work in and we're going to show you how to install it today. You're going to buy this as a kit. So this is the PCP kit comes with everything you see here so you're going to get your 13 cubic inch hpa bottle this fills the 3000 psi and has a regulated output of 1100 psi you're going to get your bulk fill hose and fill assembly and then your bulk fill adapter which is going to go into the magazine of the gun that's kind of the interesting part so let's show you how to install it so first things first we need the magazine so we're going to drop the mag out of the gun put the gun down don't want any BBs in it or anything. And then we're gonna pop the cover plate off just like so. Uh, and that reveals our empty CO2 housing area. Now, the cool thing about this Crossman is that because you have kind of the one you have to pierce first and then second, you can actually leave this chamber empty. If it makes you feel better, you could throw an empty cartridge in there, I guess. Uh, but the rest of this is actually really simple. So we're gonna take our Allen key and we're actually gonna remove this first screw. Now with that screw removed, we're gonna take our bulk fill adapter and you can see it's threaded on the end there. And we're just gonna run it up through that screw hole. And then we're gonna feed it on in. And you'll notice it has some wrench flats on there. We're gonna take a wrench once we make sure we're nice and centered on the seal here. Then you're just gonna take a wrench once you get it as hand tight as it'll go and just give it a little bit extra just to make sure it's cinched down there nice and tight, just like so. Should be all good, just so it's not leaking or anything like that. But that's really all there is to it. Now, if you do want to make this kind of a permanent thing and still have the gun look cool, uh, you just go ahead and take the cover plate and you're gonna wanna cut out right here, right where it says open actually. You just make that cut, it'll still close no problem, uh, but that'll give you still that authentic look once you get everything hooked up. But for our purposes here today, just to show you how it works, we're gonna take that off and we'll leave it off. So next thing up, we are going to take our HPA bottle and we are going to install it onto our bulk fill assembly. Now, uh, the fill assembly here is really simple. It's a braided hose. Uh, you have, uh, I believe it's rated up to 5,000 PSI. So running it off a 3,000 PSI bottle like so is not gonna cause you any problems. Uh, but you do have, you wanna make sure that this nozzle is backed out. This is actually your piercing cap here. So you are just gonna thread your bottle right onto the end of this. And this will also fit bulk CO2 bottles if you wanted to go that route as well. So once we get that nice and tight, we're all good to go there. We don't wanna tighten this down just yet. Now on the end of our hose here, this is actually your bleeder for the hose. So that'll come into play later when we wanna detach, but you make sure this is pushed up and then we'll go ahead and hook the quick connect onto our magazine, just like so. Snap it on, make sure it's nice and tight not going to go anywhere and then we can pressurize the system now i don't have this quite all the way full we'll, we'll do that before we head out to the range but there is enough air in it to test so now i'm going to get this nice and tight and you'll hear it and you heard it there pressurize and we are good to go so once we have everything hooked up there we just go ahead and pop the mag into the gun uh, we'll go out to the range and load it with bbs but this is all there is to it so the cool thing about this system, uh, obviously HPA is not temperature sensitive like CO2 is. So the great thing there is that we should get consistent velocities from our first shot until we fall off the regulator at 1100 PSI. Now, because this is a bulk source, you're probably gonna get way more shots per fill than you are off the two CO2 cartridges. If memory serves, I think these deliver about 175 to 200 shots. So we're gonna go out and put this on the range, blast some full auto BBs downrange, give you some velocities as we're going along, just so you can see the general consistency that HPA is gonna provide you, uh, and also give you an idea of what kind of shot count you can expect with one of these Crossman CO2 guns on HPA. Let's do it.
So what we did for our chronograph testing was we took the first shot on semi-auto over the chronograph just to get a kind of a speed check on each magazine. But 17 mags, holy cow, 425 BBs downrange. Uh, so what I did, first shot on semi-auto, rest of the mag on full. So running through, if that was on CO2, that would have been about 175 shots before we ran out of two cartridges, 425 shots on high pressure air, which is pretty awesome. So that's from 3000 down to about 1000 PSI. So uh, the numbers you're seeing on the screen Screen here, you're getting a lot better consistency over those 425 shots uh, than you would with CO2. Of course, you'd see kind of a descending string on CO2. And the great benefit here is that it's not temperature sensitive, which is awesome. A huge benefit for HPA over CO2, in my opinion. Now you can refill the bottle while it's hooked up and everything, but to disengage everything, you're gonna go ahead and twist counterclockwise on the knob up here that pierces the bottle. A couple turns is fine. You don't have to go all the way out, just uh, enough to get that off of the pin there. And then you're gonna go ahead and pull down on this black collar that'll vent and then you can disengage and you are good and safe there. Now, if you do wanna take this guy off of here, there's gonna be some excess pressure in the line. So all you need to do is do this, push that forward again, let the rest of the pressure in the line bleed, and then you can go ahead and disengage your bottle. So this new PCP kit from Air Venturi for the Crossman full auto guns, this is awesome to see. Uh, these bulk fill adapters, we get a lot of comments, requests for stuff like this. So to see it actually come to light is really cool. Uh, very simple system. This is a nice hose kit. You can throw this in your back pocket and still run the gun easily. Uh, I like it a lot, honestly. 400 plus shots off of one of these bottles is awesome. If you're already set up for PCP, this is a great alternative, especially if you got little kids in the backyard, you wanna do a lot of shooting. Or for those of you that don't want to go the CO2 route, you know, those cartridges, I, you got to keep buying them, right? If you got a hand pump or you got a compressor, this thing is a one time, buy once, cry once setup. So a uh, really cool option, something you should definitely check out if you want to go full auto over the winter, you want to ditch the CO2, whatever. Check it out next time you're on Pyramid Air's website. We appreciate you a ton for watching. For The Insider, I'm Tyler Patner. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate you a ton. We'll see you next time.